Here's a really cool application that I use with my kids. It's called Celestia. You can find it online. It's free. C-E-L-E-S-T-I-A. And what's neat about it is it lets you navigate the uh, universe. And so, for example, here's the planet Earth, and I can use my mouse. So if I right-click, I can rotate around the planet and look at things. And what's really cool about it is it's based on the actual time, so it's where the sun's position actually is. I can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. I can click and drag the planet around. So it's a neat way uh, to look at that. The other thing is, if I scroll out, you can see um, here's the moon that came in the picture. So I can right-click on the moon, and then I can go to the moon and it'll actually zoom in here and then I can uh, zoom in or out on the moon and, and look at this. Um, I'm going to go to the sun because I'll show you something that's pretty cool. So the sun is H and that'll allow you to center it and then hit G that'll actually take you to the sun. And so now I'm at the sun and I can zoom out and then you can see uh, the planets and stuff will start to come into view. You can see them coming in as I zoom in and out. And what's really neat with this particular application. One is there's spaceships and all these things that you can bring in, uh, these models and bring in and actually make movies. But if you go to the render option here, there's view options and I can select orbits and I hit OK. Now I've got all the orbit paths for the planet. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I'm going to zoom out a little. So you can see here the orbit paths for the planet. You can see how massive our solar system is. Um, in relationship to everything. So there's the Sun. We're the third planet, so we're going to go one, two, three. This is Earth. And any object, I can just right click on it and then I can get information about that. And then uh, the other thing is I can right click on the Sun and I can see orbiting bodies. And for this case, we'll do planets. We can see uh, Saturn. So let's go to that. It's got some really nice features. And we'll hit G. That'll take us to Saturn. And then you can see, I didn't realize with these orbit paths prior to this, just how um, just how many things are orbiting Saturn. That's actually pretty impressive. But what's really neat about that is then you can see Saturn's rings and you can uh, scroll around and, and look at the, the planet. So it's a neat way to explore the universe. And you can keep scrolling out, scrolling out, and you'll actually get to the Milky Way and um, see some of the other uh, objects that they've captured out there in space. So I hope you enjoy the program.